Mr. Kokheng Lun. I worked as a freelancer for almost eight years between 2003 to 2011 in the arts. Back then, my concern was whether I had enough jobs to ensure my financial survival in the short terms. At times, I would be offered part-time work with employer CPF contributions, and that was a bonus, and I felt more secure. But by and large, the security of benefits such as CPF provisions was not something I thought much about. My experience then is similar to what freelancers face today, perhaps an exacerbated level in the gig economy. Because of their relative lack of experience, they can be easily exploited by employers offering them less pay. To ensure they get a job despite their lack of a portfolio, new entrants result to undercutting, thereby creating a vicious cycle of decreasing wages. They may take on more jobs than they can handle, endangering their own health and lives in some cases. In full-time employment, there are legal and contractual obligations, enshrining a social compact between employer and employee, employers' CPF contributions, paid sick leave, work pl workplace insurance and other welfare. But with a freelance engagement, the hirers do not bear such responsibilities. In fact, sometimes there is no agreement signed, no reimbursement for workplace injuries, no assurance of remuneration deadlines. These are purely transactional relationships where the hirers stands to gain because there is willing labour. This freelance employment model will continue to thrive because it is highly efficient. It is what gig economy relies heavily on. So as a first step, to ensure a fairer social compact, perhaps the government can look at mandating hires and probably starting from the government agencies to make contributions to CPF for the freelancers engaged. Another way forward would be for freelancers to form associations, guilds and alliances so that they can share information, set standards and best practices and ensure all freelancers know how to protect themselves. The more they come together, the stronger their negotiating power. It allows us, not, it allows us to take care not only of ourselves, but of others like us. It goes beyond transactional because through a social compact, we see our interdependency, thereby growing stronger as a society. Thank you.